Hey, this is Mike Lively, and this is Zero to Sixty in JSP. Okay, here we go. Uh, and so uh, this is where we're going to end up here. And I don't know if you're familiar with Zen Design, Zen Garden Design. Uh, okay, well, that's another thing for you to be <laughs> another thing to throw at you. It just was an idea that someone had a long time ago that um, you know CSS sites were not very beautiful. They were like very blockish, and there was a way to make them beautiful. And Zen kind of said, "We're going to show you how to make something beautiful that's not typically not." And so that's where all that came from. So let me go ahead and give you. Uh, we'll get to the site. I, I like I said, I, we got very simple notes today. Zero to sixty uh, JSP by Lively, and here's a few links that you need to be aware of. Uh, you've already downloaded Tomcat Seven now. A lot of stuff you're going to be doing, you won't be using Tomcat 7, you'll be tom using Tomcat 6. And, I, and it's the same procedure for uh, getting it all going. But I just use 7 because there's some attribute tags in 7 when we work with servlets that are kind of some shortcuts. And so I, I, we're going to hit servlets real quick. And then we're going to dive into JSPs and do some simple examples. And then we're going to show you this beautiful website that you see behind here. Um, and that will be done in JSP as well. Okay. So uh, that's one of the things. I'm going to give you a wonderful site for Java and for JSP and servlets. And that's this site right here. CoreServlets.com. Wonderful Java site. Of course, it's not going to take you to the next level. So what we try to do, you know, is to take you to the next level in these tutorials. And so uh, they won't, you won't see anything like the site behind here, of course. Um, but you will see some great basic technology. So we're going to do some tutorials from that as well, okay? So I just want to leave that reference there because it's got lots of good stuff here on this core servlet site. And so uh, basically you've downloaded um, Tomcat 7 and, and you've downloaded uh, Eclipse JE Helios, right? And uh, we're going to get that all stuck together in the right place. Now what I find out is a lot of people end up, what they do is they get it just all over the place and they forget what Tomcat server they're using. And, you know, and, and what I would like to do is just put it all in one folder. So you know where everything is, okay? And that's why I wanted to go ahead and let do the install with you, so you can just see where to put it all, and then get it all running, uh, and get your servlets and JSP pages running. Uh, and uh, like I said, the two websites too that we'll be referencing today, of course, are the course servlets and also the Zen Garden. All right, and this is where we're going to be headed. We're going to make a beautiful uh, uh, JSP site that looks like this. Okay. Okay. Good. So what I want you to do is. Um, First thing I want to do is you're going to unzip your Eclipse and you're going to put it on your uh, C drive. And let me show you where I put mine. Now Eclipse doesn't really have any uh, big install. And so um, uh, let me just step back just real quick before we get too far ahead of ourselves. You know, for those people who are watching online, I should since you've already downloaded this, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get the Tomcat server. All right, and let me go ahead and just take you to that page real quick. Right, we did that a few lessons back. We looked at Tomcat 6, and just for uh, exercise purposes, we're going to look at the Tomcat Server 7 today. So go ahead and download Tomcat 7 from uh, the TomcatApache.org page. And I went ahead and downloaded the 64-bit. Uh, Is that what you did? Zip and... Mm-hmm. Okay, then you want to use the 32. I had a 64, so I downloaded 64. Good, so you got that downloaded, right? And then what you want to do is go to the Eclipse page and download Eclipse. And let's go to that page real quick here. So everyone can see that. And you want to make sure that you download uh, this one right here, Eclipse IDE for J Java EE developers, right? And, and you want the, uh, it's called Helios is what it's called. So that's the one you want. And so what you want to do is once you download it, there's no install for Eclipse. You just want to unzip it and put it in the C drive. So what I did is I went over to my drive and I'm going to bring this down so you can see all this. And I'm going to right click on here. And I went down to uh, just to my C drive. Okay, and I created a folder and I just called it, uh, just to make it easy for myself, Eclipse Helios. Okay. And so that's what you want to do. And then what you want to do is just unzip Eclipse into that folder. All right. So let me pause the video and go ahead and have you do that. And once you've done that, uh, then I'm going to start again. Okay. Tess, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. So we're back. And what I, I want to show you is make sure that you set up your workspace correctly. And, and, and I think this is pretty much kind of a a good practice that I'm, I'm presenting to you. So what what I'm, I'm suggesting is you do this and I'm going to open up the Explorer and we're going to take a look at my Eclipse. So you take the Eclipse uh, and you uh, unzip it 
on your C drive. And so let me do that because Eclipse has no special install. Basically, it's just you know uh, you unzip it and then you link to the executable. And so I, I just created a folder called um, Eclipse Helios. That's what I called that. And so if I unzip that or excuse me, open that up, and I also unzip the Tomcat server and I put it right there. Okay, so you can see I got the Eclipse Helios unzipped right here, and the Tomcat server is right here, and so I won't lose that Tomcat server. So what a lot of people do, they'll just put the Tomcat server anywhere and they link to it, which is fine, but it, you can lose it. And so you, and if you do like me, you've got you know seven, eight, ten ser different servers running on your machine. You need to basically um, uh, keep it all in the same place. And so that's one thing. So make sure you got an Eclipse Helios. There's that folder right there. I got the Tomcat server in there. I want you to create another folder called Helios Workspace. You're going to keep your workspace in the same folder as well. And also clip, create a folder called Zip Resources. So you can put all your Zip Resources in there. And all those resources I mailed to you, go ahead and put in that folder right there. Okay. And you'll be good. Now everything's together. You're not going to lose anything. And when you save things, the, the workspace is right here. So that's that's a good practice. And believe me. I've done so much programming that I, <laughs> I've i learned painfully this is the way you want to do this. Now, if you only do uh, three programs in your lifetime and you're <laughs> using Eclipse you know, occasionally, you're okay. But if you're just literally working on hundreds of things like I do, you're going to end up uh, having to you know tighten tighten up your, work, your workflow. So once that's done, you want to go ahead and open up Eclipse. So go ahead and make sure you make a shortcut here. And I called mine, I believe, Eclipse Helios or something like that. And put that on your desktop so you can click right on it. And there's mine. I called it Helios. So let's click on that. And up comes my, uh, uh, my uh, Eclipse. Uh, not the Helios version. Now, when you have Eclipse Helios workspace, when, when you get Eclipse, it starts to come up. It wants you to browse the workspace. So make sure you browse the workspace that you created. Uh, in your uh, Eclipse Helios folder and that way everything is kept together and go ahead and accept that and open up that workspace hit OK and Eclipse will open up oh I think we're running several versions of Eclipse I mean and there's a new PHP Eclipse out which by the way is going to be great I need to check that out and uh, there's a new UML Eclipse out too which I can't wait to uh, to get a hold of I'm going to write up this actually after our meeting today um, it's a UM, it's modeling tools for Eclipse, which is fantastic. I'm very interested in taking. A, I'm teaching a course for Kent State. I, I don't know if I mentioned you. Kent State uh, actually gave me a call and said, "Hey, can you teach a, UM, a, a, a modeling course for us? It's a software modeling course called UML Unified Modeling Language." I said, "Great, I'd be glad to." And uh, I, I use a, a software Ideas, which is fantastic for that. But Eclipse has now got a whole set of tools that it's been working on. They finally released it, so I'm excited about getting into that as well. So here we go. We're, we've got I've got a bunch of folders I created. You don't have anything yet, so we want to import some files. So again, just follow me step by step. Uh, and matter of fact, maybe I should just delete some of this stuff and uh, reinstall it, so you can follow along. Let me delete these folders. Now, when you delete, if you want to delete everything, delete the that as well. And uh, now I don't want to delete everything. <laughs> I'm going to screw it up. Here, let me do this, Porter. I'm going to do this. I'm going to create another workspace in my, and I'm going to navigate to that workspace. So I have a blank screen that looks just like yours, okay? Let me do that. So if you, if you fill up your workspace and you go, man, I, I need more 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 room, you can always create another workspace. So I'm a, let me show you how to do that. So just navigate to your folder and open up your Eclipse Helios and just create a new folder, call it uh, Workspace 2, for example. And then I'm going to actually navigate to that, and that will be blank, and so we can start from a blank slate. Okay, so I'm going to open up this, and, and as opposed to closing and opening Eclipse, I can actually change the workspace here, switch workspace, and go to Other. And I'm going to browse to that Other. And let's bring that here. Workspace 2 right here, and let's open that up. And then Eclipse will open and close, and I'll be in the new workspace. I don't know if you and and that's was one of the differences between this and, and Flash that first got you off when I, I mean years and years ago when I was learning Eclipse, the first thing I was trying to learn out well how do you create a folder how do you create a file, because in Flash you know you create a file and you just save it somewhere, but in Eclipse you need to actually create a whole workspace and then you can save things into that workspace, okay and that's the first thing you want to do and then I'm here in Eclipse so I can go right to the workbench, and now I've got a blank space just like you do okay. And there's a few things we need to do and uh, a little bit of housekeeping, so we're going to do all that. Let me squeeze this a little bit so you can see it.